is Jordan Monroe from Provo, Utah. Our company is Outlet Baby Care. We've created a smart sock that sends heart rate and oxygen to a parent's smartphone. My background's a little bit different than I guess you might think some of other entrepreneurs are. I was raised in like a very rural town and starting your own business always looked like a big risk. But the more I dove into it, the more you know, the more I started to understand more about entrepreneurship, I realized that you're investing in yourself as a person and you're taking out risk because you're not depending on others to, uh, to provide you a job or provide you what you need. But when you invest in yourself, you're able to create value wherever you need. My team, we all met at, at uh, BYU and uh, we were all working in uh, entrepreneurial stuff on campus. Four out of the five of us are all fathers. One of our founders, my good friend Kurt Workman, had a cousin pass away from SIDS, and he said there's, he hadn't had his child yet, but he said there's gotta be a way that we can empower parents. The Outlet Vitals Monitor works by sending uh, infrared and red light through the baby's foot and does some math on the back end to figure out what the heart rate and the oxygen levels are of, of the child and uh, sends that via Bluetooth 4.0 to a parent's smartphone. We could actually save lives with this product. We will have the largest infant data set that's ever existed. Data researchers and uh, universities will be able to unlock some really amazing stuff about what's going on uh, with children that, that sometimes die suddenly. Here at CES is where kind of everything happens and we figured being there would be a, a huge benefit to our company even if we, you know, didn't even make it to anywhere past the first round. I think uh, getting that exposure and also getting feedback from the judges was super valuable. I feel like we've got a product that's actually going to change the world. So we're Outlet and we're really excited to tell you guys how this little baby sock is going to change the world. It's gonna empower parents and it's gonna improve the health of infants all over the world. So. I'd like to introduce our, our founding team and, and their kids. Um, as many of you guys know, having a child is the most life-changing experience that I think most of us are going to go through. Um, and it's kind of a mix of emotions, because on one side, you're so excited for this little you to come, and you wait nine months for it, and you love it, and you don't even, you know, you haven't even met it yet. Um, and on the flip side of that emotion is, is kind of the anxiety that follows that. Um, because you go from the security of being in the hospital, of everyone knowing what they're doing and having all this help, to going home and really kind of being all by yourself and having to just figure it out because they don't give you a manual as you leave. In fact, they give you a list of things to come back if something goes wrong. There's a lot of things that keep mom up at night and there's one thing in specific that keeps moms up at night and, uh, and one customer said this, this very well. She said, um, I've been to the funeral of a six month old who died of SIDS, and I know two other mommies who have died, who have lost their kids the same way. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, SIDS is Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. It's the number one cause of infant death, and it's what keeps most moms up at night, and that anxiety is something that, that isn't healthy for parents. But she continues, um, she says, my own baby has had three blue spells, where if I hadn't heard our monitor or seen her in time, she would have died. Those fears you were talking about are valid and anything that saves a baby's life is worth it. So to make matters worse, the current monitors on the market stink. They, they're old, they're outdated, and they don't actually tell you um, if your baby is uh, breathing or not. Until now, introducing the Outlet Vitals Monitor. It's a smart sock that sends heart rate and oxygen levels to a parent's smartphone and can alert you in case of an emergency. Um, it's using technology that you've all probably used before. Um, that little light that the doctor puts on your finger when you go into the hospital. Um, and uh, it's safe, it's proven, and it's, and it's used all over the world. Now, uh, we knew, being dads ourselves, we knew how important it was to make this thing baby-proof. Um, so we've made the electronics completely flexible, and we've encased it in silicone so that it is also waterproof. We'd like to do a demonstration if um, we can connect to the iPhone. I make it discoverable right here, and it turns on. We'll try on my phone. Oh, there we go. So we're waiting, gonna wait for it to connect. So this is using uh, BLE low energy Bluetooth. Um, ex it's extremely low energy. We're doing it off of my finger right now. It'll usually be on the foot and getting it around uh, the side of the foot. Um, as we wait for the signal to get there, it's not even connecting to the Bluetooth for some reason. Is it on? Well, it had to be on if it were to connect. Anyhow, so from here you'll be able to see uh, heart rate, 
oxygen levels, um, skin temperature, and sleep position. Uh, so we'll go back to the slide deck. Uh, so not only are we, are we sharing heart rate and oxygen, um, we're also doing skin temperature, uh, rollover alert, so if the baby rolls on, onto their stomach, and sleep quality, or how restless your child is throughout the night. This is helpful because um, children don't exactly, infants don't exactly tell you uh, what they're feeling or what's wrong. And so uh, getting push notifications, uh, for example, if your baby didn't sleep very well the night before, or if they're really warm, or even if they're just awake, is, is very helpful and empowering for parents during this difficult time. Um, I want to take a minute and brag about our, our technology because over here on the left is a hospital grade pulse oximeter. It's about the size of a briefcase. And then there's kind of the evolution of our product all the way down to this little guy, which is 1 80th the size. Um, and it does everything that the home pulse oximeter can do, and it's wireless. Um, <clears throat> This was kind of a feat in itself because an infant's foot triples in size in the first year. You go from something that's this small to smaller all the way to this. This is 1x, and then it actually doubles one more time. So it gets quite big in that first year. Getting a reading, and we had to get a reading the entire time. So we innovatively came up with a new solution of using multiple sensors in our pulse ox. So every pulse ox center you've all probably used only has one light and one receiver, and that allows for one combination. With four uh, sensors, we're getting nine different combinations, and we're getting a great reading uh, the whole time. So uh, two months ago, we actually allowed for pre-sales on our website, and uh, we've sold over uh, close to a quarter million dollars worth in product. Um, the demand is overwhelming, and we are really excited to deliver this product at the end of this month to, uh, to parents. <laughs> so, and we're excited also, we're thinking about our, our next products coming out with audio and video and, and other units for uh, making it larger for elderly care. But what we're really, really excited about is creating the, the largest data set of infant health data that's ever been known. Um, in the hospital, they know exactly what the baby's heart rate and oxygen should be from minute one of birth to minute 10. Two, I mean, they know exactly what it should be. But when they leave, they, we've never had that data before. We're really excited because we could come up with uh, any predictions from anything from the common cold to things that are more life-threatening. Uh, we're really excited to change the world with this. We've had universities like Rutgers University and Harvard both reach out to us and because they see the value in, in really being able to change the world. So that's what gets us excited, and, and that's what uh, we can't wait to do. Um, we know that being a parent is one of the most fulfilling things that we'll ever go through, and uh, we want to help keep it that way. So thank you. All right, Jordan, thank you. So that was Owlet. So we have six minutes for questions. Price point? What? Price point? Yeah, so right now it's selling on our website for 249 you have to worry about uh, like regulatory challenges, uh, FDA, anything like that, um, because you're actually, I guess, diagnosing potentially um, in, like conditions. Yeah. So um, this is just a tool that's uh, monitoring and giving you the data, so you can work with your pediatrician. So we don't need FDA uh, or anything or like clearance. That. Yeah. So it's a potentially like just absolutely massive need market, but then with that also comes a really high bar and reliability because if yep. if your um, you know fitness tracker fails, it's an annoyance. But if like this has a false alarm, it's a, pr a pretty uh, upset parent. So, uh, what's your approach to making sure there's reliability when the battery gets low? You don't have a false alarm. Good question. So, uh, and 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 this actually goes a little bit with your last question. We're not. We're, we don't need to be FDA cleared, but we're still actually going through the FDA testing. So it's going to be just as accurate as if it was. And if we wanted to pay the FDA, we could actually consider it a medical device and, and get that clearing done, which we, we might likely do as well, since we're already going to go through their testing. And then uh, on, on top of that, these first units that we're shipping aren't going to have an alarm. And uh, so we're going to, um, and, and they, they realize that, and they know that, and, and they purchased um, having that in mind, and we're going to hopefully make sure that we're not, you know, over alerting, but definitely not under alerting. Correct. Yes. So we're very conscious of that. You have different sizes there. Um, uh -huh. Do they? Does that all come in the package? Uh, yeah. So this was just to more illustrate the the, the foot size different uh, oh. difference as well. But yeah, it, it comes with multiple sizes because child's foot grows. So you get multiple socks, but only one device. Exactly. Yep. This this, this device itself will, will will fit into both. So. so until what age would this uh, work, approximately? Uh, it'll work as long as it fits. And with our <laughs> testing, it actually worked on an 18, a very large 18, 18 months. Uh, I think you probably had an average of like a two-year-old two sized foot. Yeah. But uh, we're, we're telling parents to use it for the first year. 
Uh, and that's what we're promising that it'll fit and work. So. And the risk of SIDS is the first year or the first couple of years? Uh, the first six months is, first is six really months. where it, it's really big. <clears throat> it starts to taper off, and then after the first year, it's almost uh, non-existent. Gotcha. So. so from a uh, reliability standpoint, what have you tested that you could sort of wash it a thousand times, that it was holding up to water? Like, this is a very clever sort of design. Yeah. So how, how far, how deep have you, have you gone into... Um, crash testing the device? Yeah, so we've done all the consumer safety testing that needs to be done. Um, we, so we know exactly at what point it rips right here, and we've beaten the heck out of them. We know we put tons of electricity into the, uh, into the battery to see you know, at what point things happen. And luckily, it's way outside of anything any average consumer would use. Battery life? Uh, good question. Uh, good. Battery life is, it's kind of it's like a car. It'll go as, you know, depending on use. So if a parent's constantly turning it on, constantly like sending data back and forth, it's going to run out a bit quicker. But it should be anywhere from three to six days. Oh, that's good. So. Oh, okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. you said you, it's, oh, sorry. No, how do you charge it? <clears throat> oh, yeah. It's got a mini USB port oh, right okay. here. Um, just like your phone. Yep. Just the same one as So you Android leave the booty phone. on and you just plug it the baby in, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, that no, was fine. It's cool. How easy a, is it to uh, to uh, get off? Can, get, it, oh, can, yeah. a, can yeah. a one year old take it off? No. So that was also something very important in making it um, because we've kind of made like a heel uh, way. All of our first version babies love to kick these things off. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah. And so it actually attaches here and it's adjustable, and it also attaches here and it's adjustable. And so you're kind of got two contact points, and the baby hasn't ripped this one off. So it's oh. good. It's going to be a pretty incredible data set that you guys will get back out of this. Yes, I'm glad you see that as well. Yeah. We're really excited about it. So there are a couple of um, other baby monitor startups which have been funded recently. Any thoughts of you versus them? Uh, yeah, so um, they're using movement, which actually already kind of exists. They have mats that you can put underneath your child while they mm -hmm. sleep, and it's detecting the movement of the child. But again, chest compressions moving in and out isn't as, uh, as reliable or, I mean, I, most doctors love the fact that we're doing pulse oxygen. We're actually setting mm -hmm. the oxygen levels, not just saying your baby is moving. So uh, that's why we feel it's a lot better product. Okay. And you said you're shipping at the end of the month? Yeah, and end of January. We've had a lot of very excited customers, and we uh, still have a, a few few units, well, a couple hundred units available on our website and at outletcare.com, and so we're still taking uh, uh, orders for this batch. And you guys have started uh, distribution discussions so that you can be featured at you know, Walgreens or things like that, or it's too early? Uh, it's a little bit early for that. We want to make sure that we're really you know, not overwhelming parents, but, but providing something that empowers them and, and, and makes it a really good experience. Um, but yeah, it's down the road, definitely. Where are you manufacturing? Actually, in the States. Oh. Yeah, we, we love the ability to drive down and uh, talk to our manufacturer and, and really having a lot higher quality in the product as well. Right. So you said it was a BTLE. Um, so what if you're out of range? Um, is it def does it switch to Wi-Fi or, uh, or like how do you how would you communicate if you're far away from it? Yeah, there, there's there's a, uh, another unit as well that originally will plug into the computer and then eventually uh, will come out with another one that goes into the wall. So right now people are just going to use their computer and that'll act as kind of like a hub, so they can oh, be gotcha. on a date and if the Secure. you know. The caretaker puts the baby unknowingly down on their belly and doesn't know that that's unsafe. It'll you know tell so, mom and she can. Hey, so you know, this is interesting. Call. My my uh, sister is a NICU nurse, mm -hmm. so I just told her to watch, and she said you have to do all the back to sleep stuff to make sure that the baby's still okay. But you can use this and the back to sleep stuff. So exactly. You leave them on their back. I'm not a fan of these products, but this one is better. And I s and there are a lot of what ifs I see, mm -hmm. but so the Nick U nurse is, uh, is saying that you guys are okay. Well, that you makes me feel okay. a lot better. I was a little worried you told me you're gonna read that. <laughs> see the internet, the internet. So this has been. I guess we're all done. You oh, I know. I have one more question. Yes. Uh, this application could be used if uh, with a larger sock for geriatric patients, in nursing home. Uh -huh. Are you thinking about that too? Yes, we are. So um, that will help a lot with yeah. uh, with uh, in you know the inadequacies of so many of the nursing homes that we have. Exactly. Yeah, we're really excited to to be able to scale it up, and we've tested it kind of on ourselves as well at night, and uh, and it's it's worked a kind of a larger, uglier version. But so. you have like a wrist-based version, or no? It would, it would go on the, the same. foot as well. Yeah, we'd use the same well. location. Okay. Yeah. Big sock. Right, cool. Super.